Today I'm going to show you how to use our new acetate tool, which is available in your recent downloads from the DoCrafts Digital Designer. Um, so I've opened a new project, I've got an A4 paper project here, and I am going to select a couple of my papers from one of my current um, discs, which is the Forever Friends retro disc. So you can see I've got two of the same papers. If I go into my options, and my options is really where we are going to be adding new tools and new features and functionalities. So keep an eye out because this is one of the most exciting areas of the software. And I'm going to click on the acetate layer, which is here, which is found under coloring options. So you can see instantly that it's actually changed the transparency of the design whilst keeping the detail. I'm going to rotate that and you can see the effects of having an acetate layer because you can create your own bespoke patterned papers just by layering. So when I go to print, this will have a really cool gingham effect. Now I'm going to show you what else you can do. So that's one side. Um, it's on side five. If I go back to my libraries and I add the stripey one, which you think may not go, but if I go back to my options, I create into a nice black and white or sepia. Again, press the acetate layering button after I select it and I've got an, an acetate layer. Again, oh, let me lock that into position. I'm just going to quickly show you a tip. Sometimes you will sometimes select the wrong ones. If you go into the digi layers and you just lock them here into position, it just means you can't by accident um, select them. So here I'm going to select this one and rotate it. And this is just some of the ways that we are playing with um, the acetate tool. But we would love to see what you come up with. And so please log on to www.docrafts.com and share your ideas and your tips and tricks either in our craft forum, our digital crafting forum, or on the gallery. But again, can you see that I've been able to make um, bespoke papers that either can suit my projects or my photos. Again, I can add a quick photo in there and I can create scrapbook pages and things like that. But that is how we are using our acetate layer.